The NYPD is also paying tribute to officers who lost their lives on 9-11. And even amid budget cuts, top-ranking NYPD officials say security is one thing New Yorkers have nothing to worry about. CBS News' John Diaz joins us now live from Lower Manhattan with more on this. John. Yeah, Chris and Marion, as you mentioned, even dealing with these budget cuts, Police Commissioner German Shea saying that he has as much men and women out on the streets patrolling as he possibly could. Now, he cannot say for safety reasons actually how many people he has out here protecting uh, New Yorkers, but he did say, though, that New Yorkers will be seeing hundreds of officers in uniform and also hundreds of officers in plain clothes. Now, of course, we have to remember, though, all the brave men and women who lost their life on 9-11. If you take a look here, the NYPD tweeting out this picture saying on this night 19 years ago thousands of Americans kissed their loved ones good night for the last time including 23 NYPD officers 343 FDNY firefighters and 37 Port Authority officers now today Police Commissioner German Che is saying that the pandemic has drastically changed things up but everyone will be safe a bond between New Yorkers and, and, and members of the police department, certainly the fire department too. And uh, it's probably an unwritten bond, but it is a strong bond. It certainly will look a little different today. What will not change is our resolve to honor the fallen, to uh, keep our promise to never forget both to them and to their families. And Police Commissioner Dermot, Dermot Deshea is saying, of course, we cannot forget the uh, victims of the 9-11 related illnesses, you know, people who got illnesses later on from 9-11 and passed away years later. And also, though, uh, many people who are still dealing with illnesses today saying thousands of people are still dealing with that. We're live this morning from Lower Manhattan. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.